These are the gigabit power line adapters I use to get internet to my server. You can see right on the front of them it says 1200 megabits per second. I have to use these because I can't run an ethernet cable to where the server is located and this is the best option I've got. Today we're going to put these to the test to see if they really can put through one gigabit because I have not seen them do that. At most I've been able to get 33 megabytes per second down speed which is nowhere near one gigabit. Now to do this I'm going to use these to direct connect my desktop to my server. Now I have my computer set up to where I can connect them to this gigabit switch and have a direct connection to transfer files, which is awesome. But for this test, I'm going to route it straight through these. Now if you've never seen these before, these have an ethernet port on the bottom and you're supposed to be able to just plug this into a regular outlet and hit the pair button to find another one on the same network or on the same power grid and then you can just pass ethernet straight through these and it actually works pretty well it's really kind of cool um but i i'm not getting the speed that i'm supposed to out of these so let's go ahead and get this set up and try that out i am filming this immediately after adding the two terabyte drive to the xserve and i'm splitting this out to be a separate video because this doesn't really involve the xserve itself just the fact that it has a gigabit ethernet port and while I've got it in the same room where I can connect these just like this to have absolutely no interference between them, I wanted to try this out. Now, TP-Link and anyone else who makes these states that if you have these on different circuits in the house or going through bad wiring, you will lose speed. So what I'm going to test today is taking both of these and just directly plugging them into each other on a single power strip. Turning them on, and let's see what happens. So, here we have Ethernet going to my desktop. Plug that in. And here we have this going to the server. All right. That one's found network, and that one has found network. Now, let's go ahead and power up the server and try and do a data transfer like this. Okay, here we go. So, um, I have my server mounted here, and we're going to go ahead and copy a, I think it's about 2 gig file, uh, the Raspberry Pi noobs install, and we're going to put it here into file. Now, this will also tell us how fast it's transferring. Going through my gigabit switch, I can hit around 112 megabytes consistently. So, let's, let's make it bits, bits, whatever, the weird, the actual octal one not deck anyway uh so let's see how this goes oh that's no no what did i just do here um oh yeah that's right yeah i forgot pv is a stream so yeah it uses bam okay here we go 20 megabits bytes megabytes a second that's it on the same power strip plugged into each other so clearly gigabit is a farce but aha you say though power line adapters require a clean power signal and surely your desk with many computers running lights all sorts of stuff is not going to provide that and to that i say i agree so i have run cabling to a nearby bathroom and put the power line adapters on a GFI outlet. And now let's run the test again. They are still plugged directly into each other as before. And same speed. So these things just suck. That is the best I'm ever going to get out of them. That is why I'm probably going to put a Wi-Fi card in the X serve. Yeah, okay, yeah, and it's 66 megabytes. You're not fooling me. So, uh, this has been a disappointing video because I cannot replace these yet. I still have to go get a Wi Fi card. But for the time being, I absolutely can now know I will never do any better with these power line adapters. I've been using these for, I think, a couple years now. So, 
I know that they're garbage and I should just stop using them. They are, however, useful when you're um, trying to, like, say, set up a computer somewhere and just need to put internet up there for at the time being. They're great for that. So I will keep them around for things like that. Like, if I'm going to throw up, you know, the 98 machine here and I don't want to have a dedicated ethernet cable hanging around because uh, my desk has enough cables on it, then I can just wait and do that. So I, I, uh, I'm, I'm glad I've done this test. Now I know I just need to pull the trigger on a Wi-Fi card and be done with this because it's going to be faster. I got AC Wi-Fi here. I can do better. So, yeah. This is a disappointed Akabakuku. Signing off. I'll see you later.